mess. You gotta clean up all of these tables. No, 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 no. You do not get a shifty until you're finished with the end of your shift. Hey friends, welcome back to Barkeep's Choice. As you know, my name is Dion. I'll be your barkeep this evening. And my booze hound bar back right here, this is Bandito. He's gonna be kind of helping us along the way. More than likely, he's gonna be trying to steal drinks. So today I decided to showcase something a lot more unique, you know, just to keep Bandit on his toes. I'm sorry, your paws. So today, let's make the very unique Trinidad Sour. Friends, if you've been wanting to make the cocktails that Bandit and I have been crafting, but are missing some key tools, you know, such as a shaker or a jigger, or even if you just want to like expand your bar collection, today our sponsor is Collins & Coop, which is a cocktail supply store based out of San Diego, California. And their online store ships nationally. If you use my discount code BARKEEPSCHOICE, you will receive 15% off your entire order. So please go check out my friends over at Collins & Coop and start making drinks alongside of us. The Trinidad Sour was created in 2009 by Giuseppe Gonzalez at the Clover Club Bar in Brooklyn, New York. This bitter sour drink is a relatively new modern classic that has become more and more popular not only among nerdy bartenders, but also with cocktail connoisseurs. Quiz time! Bandit! So when building a cocktail, what ingredients do we always want to start with? We're going to be using our cheaper ingredients. Why is that? Well, again, you're right. Man, you're nailing it. So we want to always be pouring the cheaper ingredients like lemon juice and syrups first. This way, if you mess up your cocktail, you don't have to throw out your more expensive ingredients like your spirits. We want to keep those. That's alcohol abuse. All right. That being said, we're going to go ahead and grab our tin and we'll go ahead and start pouring our lemon juice. We're gonna be doing three quarters of an ounce of our lemon juice today. Next, we're gonna be using Orja. Now, Orja is a syrup made of almonds. Today, we're using bougie syrups made out of Boulder here in Colorado, and they're just like a really awesome company. And today, we're gonna to be using just an ounce of our Orja today. Now you always want to add in a Trinidad Sour a high rye whiskey. So today we're going to be using 291 Colorado whiskey made in Colorado Springs, Colorado. We're only going to be using a half ounce of our rye whiskey today. So let's go ahead and pour that in. Oh, you want to know what makes this cocktail so unique? Well, the main thing that makes the Trinidad Sour so special is that the base spirit is Angostura bitters. Yeah, but we all know that like Angostura is primarily like a bittering agent and we only throw like a couple dashes in some cocktails that we made. But I'm sure you didn't know that Angostura is actually a pretty high proof spirit coming in at 90 proof. So it's got a big bite to it. So Angostura bitters were originally made in 1824 by Dr. Johann Seeger and were first called Dr. Seeger's aromatic bitters. Dr. Seeger initially created these bitters for a stomach ailment, but when they were shipped to England in 1864, the people started mixing it with their gin and calling it pink gin. After Dr. Seeger's death in 1904, the name was changed to Angostura, after the town it was created in by his two sons who took over the business. What do you mean, what's with the rapper? Well, after Seeger's two sons took over the uh, business and changed the name, they started entering the bitters into a bunch of competitions. The first one they did they had one son who took over the uh, design of the bottle, and the other took over the design of the label. Now, neither of them discussed what they were doing with each other, so now we have this, like, they accidentally made it, like, a little too big for the bottle, and they still entered in the competition because they didn't really have any time. And the funny thing is they actually lost the competition, and the judge said that this is a very smart signature labeling. So they decided to just stick with it, and now this is why there's this giant paper over the bottle. Now with Angostura, you do have this like dasher top and you just need to pop that off. It's really not that difficult. It's gonna also save you a headache of trying to pour this into a jigger because it's now open. So we're gonna be doing an ounce and a half of our Angostura bitters. Now that our cocktail is complete, let's go ahead and start shaking. Now that we've gotten this all shaken up, the glass we're gonna be pouring this into is known as a Nick and Nora. And let's go ahead and pour it in.
Now the garnish that we're going to be doing is a lemon swath. We'll do one just to, uh, one small one just to, you know, release the oils on top of the drink. And for our garnish, we're going to be doing a little bit longer of a lemon swath than we usually do. And we're going to be folding this up. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to make it look real pretty for you. So we cut a swath around the entire lemon so it's a little bit longer. And now we're just going to roll it all together. And it makes it look like a very pretty flower. Get a little skewer. Stick it through. And cheers. We just made a Trinidad Sour. Isn't that pretty? One thing I really like about this cocktail is the color. It's got that like very dark redness to it. And as you can see, there's like that little bit of foam. It kind of looks like an egg white cocktail. And that's just from vigorously shaking the Angostura bitters. All right. Oh, wowza, this is delicious. If you are a fan of like bitter cocktails, this is right up your alley. And it's got a lot of like cinnamon and allspice characteristics that you get from the bitters and some good spice from the like high rye whiskey. And the Orgeat really helps soften the flavor and balance out all the ingredients and helps make this cocktail pretty smooth. Now this is a really fun cocktail to make, especially as your cocktail knowledge is expanding. If you're looking to go out to bars and restaurants and have fun with your friends, please just wear your masks. It helps out everyone, including those working. Thank you for taking the time to watch Bannon and I making cocktails. Please subscribe to us on Facebook and Instagram, and also subscribe to this YouTube channel so we can continue to make drinks together. All right, friends, stay safe, stay clean, drink up, cheers. No, but I do not want to take shots right now. You still have a lot of work to do. You know, maybe when everyone's gone, but you gotta clean up first. <laughs>